Topaz, what is up? I am Devil Driven. It's Monday. It's Ladder Leverage Day. It's Boss Day. We got the boss man here, Mr. Shadow Play Red. Welcome, sir. Welcome. Hey, hey, hey. What's going on, buddy? Yeah, we haven't had you on in a minute, but um, yeah. you uh, recently wow. picked this list up, man, and you uh, you sped with it, man. <laughs> when I seen the win rate you got with it, I'm like, man, we got to get him on here. We got to show the people you know, what this list can do. Um, now yeah. this one's a little bit different than the snapshot one. I'll put this one in the comments, or if you want to go with the the Green Knight version, um, you could do that as well. Um, Can't go wrong with Green Boy, mm -mm. but I just uh, I put this list together originally because I didn't know what the list was that Green Knight and them were running, and I kind of watched them play a few times, and I said, well, I think this is the list, and I kind of put it together a little bit papega. But I went with the list, and it started sticking with me, and I went on like a really great win win streak with it. I think I went from rank twelve to pro rank in about six days, uh, minus my disconnects. I was at about an eighty four percent win rate. From yeah, twelve to pro rank. That's really um, really fucking good, dude. Really good. Yeah. For real. I did I did get lucky playing a lot of Scoyotel and a lot of uh non clogger NG. Um uh but clogger NG is actually super doable with uh your uh, especially when you got people that don't uh 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 that remember not to stack their line. Uh you know it, it, uh, for all those people that don't uh, that play cloggers out there don't stack your line <laughs> no <laughs> continue to uh, stack your yeah, line man yeah, please but, <laughs> uh, you know, kind of like keep in your mind that yarden is actually a card played in in some lists and uh uh yeah people want to call whoever monkeys for playing it or whatever but it's just a good card right now especially with claw everybody's obsession with cloggers so yeah uh, i think they know it's coming the nerf is coming so yeah. they're just getting it out of their system now so yep yep but, but uh yeah this is definitely like what i would consider a mid-level list that if played right uh can be really strong for you there are definitely uh multiple win cons with this list um, just going over the cards, I would say, like, the all-stars to this list, uh, one is Yurden. Uh, Yurden is, um, like, right now it's just a really feasible card with a lot of nature's gift and cloggers out there. You just have, uh, you know, a lot of, uh, reset value with it, um. So many people just like uh, immediately forfeit. It's like uh, as soon as Yarden's dropped, like a card, like the cards dropped. Even if it's the last card of the game, it's like f you, dude. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, the only yeah. the only matchup where you're, we're gonna mulligan it is uh, Scoy or uh, Skellige because their their stuff's yeah. just solid strength. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and you know, and uh, it, you know, it is bad versus Skellica. I'm not it's not atrocious, but it's pretty close. Yeah. I'm not it. It, it Skellica can be a very difficult matchup, but it's not unwinnable. If you just you know, somehow win round one and get your long round still, uh it's still winnable. Right. Uh, but yeah, Yarden is not great in that matchup. Um uh, you know, uh, Crimson Curse is a really great card to prevent the bleed in round two, uh, to maybe use round one to give yourself uh, the round. Uh, you know, it and Arrakis Behemoth are kind of like the two cards that you can play, like, throughout the game. Like, you always want them in the late round, but, it, you know, there are times where you just have to win round one. Because... You don't with this list. You don't have to win round one, but it is preferable. Yeah, you do want to force a long round with this list because the list is so much better. Mm -hmm. um, so those two cards are really great. You know, like if you're trying to use something in round one, sometimes you might actually have something that you want to use Heat Wave on uh, in round one. But mostly, you're going to save it for situations. It's more of a situational card, whereas Crimson Curse and Behemoth. You can play like throughout the whole game 
Uh, Knickers, I keep in my list because it's really good, again, for round one. It just pops out there for a little bit added point value. Uh, if you know your pass and you trust your pass, uh, uh, you know, uh, knowledge, if you're up, like, say, 12 points and you pass, there's an often time that Knickers just says, ah, ha, ha, <laughs> yeah. like 15 points. And then versus a lot of these lists, 15 points, pretty difficult to like make up in one card. Not without but spending one of your win cons, which is huge. Yes. Or just going to playing two cards. But if they play two cards... They can't bleed you, know, you. They can't bleed you. And then you get your, your long round. Uh, so... You know, it's very good. Uh, you know, it's a, I really like Knickers. Now, Green Knight says you're complete to uh, Pepeka if you don't play two Bone Talisman. So I will tell you that you can pull Knickers out, add an, another Bone Talisman in, probably drop an Andrega Egg uh, from the list, and then add Bruiser in, like our uh, uh, Snapshot. But uh, that's really ultimately like a you thing. Like, I don't see Bruiser as being uh, great besides... The Kelly matchup. Of, the Kelly yeah, matchup or, or Scoia'tael to fill up their back row. Or when uh, people like uh, in Cloggers, they are smart and they put their boosty units, like one big one on one row and then put the other ones on the other row. You could use it to move that to the other row and get a bigger yard value. Uh, so, like, a Bruiser is not a bad uh, card to bring in if you do want to adjust the list and bring in another Talisman. Uh, but I'm, like, the kind of, like, high roll freak that I just say, screw it, Tress, and get me that uh, Talisman <laughs> that I need. And I kind of roll with it. And it's and it, it it's paid off for me, you know, uh, in winning and getting to the pro ladder. Um, it, Maxi is by far the coolest card that is out right now because it allows you to game plan your matchup perfectly. Yeah. I think that we will see a nerf to this uh, come Tuesday. If I would say any card from this list sees a nerf, it will be Maxi. Yeah. I don't think we will see a nerf at all for any of the rest of the cards. Right. Like I in this list. I don't see it unless they do something super weird that they've never done before. Uh, cap, cap, cap. You know, just like nerf something that didn't need nerfed. Yeah, like that's a possibility. But I don't think anything else on this list is going to get hit. I don't maybe, think so either. Maybe evolution. Maybe. Like, I don't see why it would. Uh, but I don't think because nobody's bitching about it but i could see him doing something goofy uh, and evolution spontaneous evolution is the coolest organic card in this list. hands down for hands sure down coolest art uh coolest possibilities because you get beasts at times uh like with chimera so if you don't have uh drones you can actually use evolution on the chimera boost um, it up by I, eight cards with options are always going to be good you know what i mean that's always just what I've, to, I've said. Just to tell everybody this real quick, Chimera, of course, remember, is Adrenaline 4. <laughs> adrenaline 4 means what? That you have to use it in your last four cards to get your uh, consume effect. If, if, so, yeah. if, if not, it's only consume one. <laughs> yeah, so you're, one. you're not boosting all your copies of your drones if you use it before your last four cards right so remember that the chimera is a cool card but it is really really awesome if you use it in late game and hopefully we can show you a couple instances with that uh you know whenever we get into some games um you know, besides that, uh, I did adjust my list recently to bring another Arrakis nest in instead of just having one in the list because I am facing a lot of cloggers. Cloggers is played with lockdown, and lockdown uh, hinders your abilities to swarm. So having Arrakis nest uh, two in the list right now with the state of the meta um, is probably going to be beneficial for you. Now, I did play with just one nest all through my ranked push. 
and I did play cloggers, and I still won most of my matchups, but it is much, much more difficult to play without two Ness. So right. just keep in mind, Triss will be your best friend if you run roll with one talisman and one nest. Triss will be your your best friend and your worst enemy. So uh, that's pretty much like the list there. Oneromancy is Oneromancy. Uh, uh, Dorgiri is actually pretty good in, uh, versus some matchups. It's a lock. Other times you just know you're not going to get lock value for him, so he's just like a, a six-point card just to play. Uh, or a, a mulligan, you know. It, it, it's the same way with Yard versus Skellige, you know. Like, it's going to be your... your uh, your mulligan, your easy mulligan, and door carry and be that way at some matchups. Right. Yeah. Now he's a he's a really great he's really great in other lists like he's great uh, uh, versus northern realms. So if you face a lot of like northern realms, door carry would be an extra tool to keep uh, yourself from getting abused with it. Uh, but yeah, you know that's the list. Uh, we do have the cheeky squirrel down there at the bottom, which is also on the uh, uh, meta report list. I think that the other thing that we have is we have intricate eggs, and on the list, I believe it is uh, night wraith. Yeah, is, uh, yeah the uh, the the three one ones. Uh, these guys. Yes. Yep. For sure. Yeah. So, uh, you know, that's, that's pretty much it. Yeah. Uh, you know, just... Yeah, awesome list, dude. Awesome push, man, for uh, getting that. That's a really, really good win rate. You know, I uh, when I saw it, I was like, damn, man, um, that's, that's impressive. Yeah, and I hadn't played in three or four months. So, you know, it was pretty nice. Like, it, 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 like I'll go on, like, breaks because of my work and stuff to where, like, between doing stuff for the team and then my job as a United States postal worker, I, uh, you know, do a lot of other stuff in life. So I kind of get to a point where I cannot play Gwent as much as, like, run the team. Right. Uh, so what needs to be sacrificed? But, um, you know, it feels nice when I come back and it's a different list each time and a different faction that I move and roll into pro pro rank with. I think the last time that I rolled this fast in was with the original Chad board deck from about six or seven months ago that was so he was so big into. Right. Uh, and uh, yeah, but like this list is it's good. It's it's a good list, and I and I think that everybody that like plays this list can like feel pretty confident that uh going into next season that it won't be touched that much now we just have to wait and see what new cards and changes come that might like not benefit the uh the swarm capability but i guess we'll see on tuesday yeah and we'll have to see how it uh it performs against vampires when we get them on tuesday <laughs> at least that's my prediction for monsters they're getting vampires man i think they're gonna get uh detloff and unseen elder that's well, my that's we will see that's my pick <laughs> we'll see man i hope so man i love vampires dude so i'm uh I, i'd be really hyped to see it i dig monsters so like it's a fun faction to play so we'll see like if it can get some more love yeah that would always be good yeah, yeah. But, uh, hey, that's the video for today, guys. Uh, make sure if you don't stick to the, uh, make it to the end of the video, uh, check out the Team Leviathan Gaming Discord. Link's always in the description. Um, they're giving away a uh, coaching session from Podgeable off the bat. Um, you got a chance to win it. Uh, an hour with Podgeable, the world champ. Uh, Invitational 2 coming this weekend as well, which shadows yeah, and qualifier. Qualifier. Yes. Qualifier. Yep. Um, actual Invitational 2 is in July. So. Uh, so you got a chance to make it to that one so oh, yeah. uh, and you can still sign up once again going by going to the, the discord and uh the podcast is coming soon uh this vinyl podcast with uh spiro and jaggers first guests i believe are gravish and podgeable which will be a good time so keep an eye out for that podcast friends and um brother shadow thank you for stopping through dude man it, it was good to have you on and jam a couple games man appreciate it yeah yeah, man, I appreciate you having me on. 
Um, Thanks a bunch. But uh, here's a couple games, guys. Like always, thank you so much for hanging out with us while we jam some Gwent games, man. We greatly appreciate it. We'll see you at the end. Would like to get a more difficult matchup. Just there it is. <laughs> yeah. Best yeah. Yield now. So we got the squirrel, but they don't usually coo round one. Mm -mm, no, they save it for the last round because they want to coo to grow uh, Yennefer if they can. Drop an egg, huh? Yeah, for sure. We want to keep both, like, go ahead and drop an egg first. Oh, shit, what just happened? There we go. <laughs> uh, drop a nest or an egg? Yeah, nest first and then possibly egg. Ne yeah, go ahead and drop egg. There we go. Yeah. Just All like right, so we definitely started updating want... Adobe. I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> We uh, definitely don't want to drop and use nests until round three because uh, we're going to need the swarm aspect. Mm -hmm. uh, I guess we'll just like play it by ear as we usually do. We could go ahead and play Maxi first because we can see what like we've got ahead of us uh, for this round back row. Yeah. So, Nickers, we do get Triss, but a lot of stuff on the bottom. Uh, well, if we get Knickers out, then we will get everything but Totem. But I would say go ahead and put an egg on the bottom. Like, I, I don't I don't really like the, how things are laid out. There's a lot of what-ifs. Right. Now, if you um, play Wispus and play the thing, it has to have a target, right? The, the evolution? So we banish that? Oh, yes, yes, without a doubt. Like you say, Sayonara. Because <laughs> he's uh, most likely he's just going to copy the hell out of it if I'm a betting man. Now he'll probably use the copy card on Colgram instead, which is fine because that's our your target. He'll most likely stack both Colgrams on the same line. Right. Uh, so that's like a you know, big, big reset value here. So we definitely don't want to use our Aniromancy this this round, just in case it gets banished. Um, all right, he's just using bullshit cards. So at this point, I would probably say that we do have to use a nest here. We, that's why we got the other one in, in deck. So we'll go ahead and use that. Uh, TA anything or? Yeah, you get TA. Doesn't matter which. Play around the uh, random assassinate. Yeah. Yeah. That's get him true. give him one less point. Yeah, this card's just... really, really good in this list. Mm -hmm. It's yeah, probably it's the fantastic. coolest art. <laughs> it's got that Lovecraft going, I love it. Kingslayer drone, wow. ladies and gentlemen. Wow. There it is. <laughs> hey, this is this Holy is, fuck. <laughs> right. So I'm, I'm confused here because unless Colgrim is not in his list, why would you not hold on to Kingslayer? <laughs> like, you don't know for a fact that we have Jurgen in our list. So, like, you know, that is a win con. Like, right. I, I, I'm, I'm really not <laughs> understanding that. Like, I'm... I'm I'm, confused, I'm like yes, sir. I'm with confused. you. Like, I'm very confused by it. Like, uh, so do we go Chimera or do we go? No, Evel? Chimera only works when you're below four cards, uh, because it, it's got uh, what is it, adrenaline? Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Play it. It's effect after below four cards. So we could go ahead and use Parasite on that five because I don't really think he has anything that like because most of his stuff that we would want to remove we wouldn't want to remove because it's boosty stuff and um, you know I don't see the reason to keeping Parasite. We have a lock. Okay, so now he's gonna start uh, copying. Um, so now we go evolution. Yeah. Go ahead and go with evolution here. 
He didn't really thin that well, though. Like, uh, but we we got out the uh, knickers, which is pretty good as well. He's he's just like playing for the same bullshit. He's gonna be the. Uh, so how does he get nine? He doesn't get nine. I don't see how he gets nine. I would just pass. Like we don't want to use uh, Behemoth if we don't have to, and I think Behemoth is overkill. Like we're actually like doing away with points. Yeah, if he has Siri, like he still has to play two cards. Well, we can't have Siri because Madoc is ten, right? We still have Triss, and we still have uh, Totem and Nest. So, like, Triss is either going to be Totem, Nest, or even Evolution if we need it. Like, yeah, he's going to go down the card. And we got the Menor out of him. That's real good. Focus and he played... And, and that's another, this person is a real bad bloggers player. Like, uh, like real bad, because... Um, like, for him to play Kingslayer in round one... Like, <laughs> he on a drone! Really, really, really bad. And, yeah, we'll we'll keep drone as, like, uh, like I would just keep it here and maybe do away with... Uh, uh, selection, or Squirrel. Yeah, uh, Selection, because Squirrel, he could end up playing Coup de Gras in round uh, three, and I would almost, like, consider, like, keeping Squirrel just for that benefit alone just to make sure he can't do it twice anything else actually he can't do it twice go ahead and kick uh, i don't know what i was thinking you, uh, go ahead and kick uh, squirrel i think squirrel's fine to kick now that i'm thinking on it and we still got two cards that we could get rid of here there you so, go sir <laughs> oh shit like uh like it it, it I'm still kind of really baffled by that decision, uh, Kingslayer in round one. Right. I'm Dora Gary's good. That's a lock. Yep. We got a nest. Um, um, we want to kick. Uh, let's go ahead and kick uh, uh, Warrior. Yeah. This is it. And, uh, let's our, look at our deck one more time, real quick. We got Just Blood Moon and uh, Crimson Curse. So. <laughs> Oof. That's greedy, though, man. Those cards are garbage if we get them. Um, mm. Okay, we'll keep this. Yeah. We'll just keep it because we have a Neuromancy for Yurden, and then uh, we can use uh, Tribute to pull uh, uh, Crimson Curse. The thing is, is we want to use... <laughs> you know, we so want to use Yenna for second to last... And then uh, uh, you're last. So we start with uh, Nest, though, right? Yeah, yeah. It's the, the logical decision because we got to be able to play uh, Evolution off of it. Yeah, it's Colgrim's like, like, I mean, yeah, he's if he saved all his, like, hounds and stuff. Unless he doesn't play Colgrim. Uh, it could be, like, a weird list if they don't play Colgrim. Behemoth? Uh, or do we go evolution first let's go evolution first just uh, because uh, I don't think we get the extra one this time no but, so we should be uh, yeah we're, we're missing on one you know from uh, behemoth like because we get one more drone out of it right uh, he might be like one of those Lambert friends and then uh we have to use like uh, Wispus for something other than Crimson Curse to be able to have a swarm. Or I don't we think have we have anything power. else. Oh, we uh, got Selection. That's yeah. the only other organic card. Alright, so now we're going to play Behemoth for sure just to play around uh, Lambert. Yeah, we don't want to get uh, all our units new. Oh, he still kills him though. Uh, I thought Lambert was everything by one. Or is it everything by two? I thought it's everything two. by two. Uh, Emissary. I, okay, so he may also be playing spies. That's something else that we have to uh, play. So we just take our Yennefer now? Uh, well, this is the thing, though. We play Yennefer now, and he plays Coup de Gras. 
and he's going to coup de gras Yennefer and then play her again. Oh, look, at you, you've uh, played this game before. <laughs> that sounds like I've had this happen once. So, so you want to play uh, Yennefer second to last because you're going to play Yurden with an um, uh, if it, to, to reset because most likely he's going to play the Boosty Boys. So yeah. this one we're going to go ahead and play... Let me see. Let's go ahead and play Yennefer. Uh, I mean, not Yennefer, but uh, Triss here. And we'll hope for Totem. Like, really hope and pray for Totem. Nope. Okay. Uh, we're going to play Moon Dust or D Bomb one of them and just hit one of his. Uh, like, yeah. Yeah, that was. We, we, that was a low roll. We can't use Nest there because it's. No, we Yep. Yeah, so. Um, you know that was like the worst case scenario thing, right? Like we just uh, and and uh, it's fine if he kills a unit because sometimes we kind of start to be stretched for room. At this point, we go um, Chimera. No, nah, well, because Chimera is not going to work right now. So oh, that's right. It's gonna, only four. I keep forgetting this card's four. So unfortunately, we're just going to have to use Dora Gary and just lock like the front row unit. Um, Unfortunately, like uh, like he's the least valuable. Like everything else is just too valuable to play. So, because next next turn we're going to have to if, if he does not play a unit, we're going to have to play Wispa's tribute. But we want to be able to hold her as long as possible to get as much value as possible. <laughs> These bombs, yeah. though, man. Yeah, he's... he's just playing very. But that's weird. He didn't uh, like. So now we're good with the Chimera, right? No, no, no. We're, we're going to have to just go ahead and play uh, Tribute. Um, it's not going to get us what we want, but we're going to have to play it on the back row. Uh, we'll just get as much as we can out of it. Yeah. Um, back row. Back row. Because if, if we put it on the front row, it doesn't spawn our uh, Akimaras. And oh, I see. Because now, now we're going to start dropping bombs with uh, the uh, Chimera. Right. Like, yeah, we lose two units to Yennefer, but at this point, like, uh, our units are going to be gone if we uh, don't. Because, see, there's no way he doesn't play Coup de Gras. I mean, there's so he no puts way. Triss back in the deck, huh? The just probably. Does he still win this? Uh, probably not. So now we go Yennefer, or do we go Chimera? We're just going to back-to-back Chimera. We'll lose two targets for Yennefer, but it is what it is. We want to use Yennefer as late as possible, because um, I, I, Coup de Gras is like the real like like lose con here. Like That's ultimately with the lose. Yeah, so he has one more with... Vis or with uh, so he goes Quinn... He has he has to play coup de gras uh, next turn. Like I have a feeling, like if he plays it, and see, he's going to be stupid. Drop it on the front row. He's not respecting you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. So Chimera again. Front row now, huh? Uh. uh yes. And just then, in case, uh, huh? Yeah, and just uh, eat a three. Yeah, I think even if he has a Yurden, he's just... Well... At this point, I think we just... <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. The, Kings, was gonna, the Kingslayer so if, drone. If we had played that outright, uh, we would have, in that situation, played Yurden next to... Uh, and reset the, the front row and then finished with uh, with Yennefer just to completely shut down Coup de Gras. Yeah. Um, but that's how you want to play versus that deck is you want to force them into playing stupid and putting all their boosty units on the road that there is no uh, Blood Moon on. Um, and then that way you get a big, bigger Yurden. Um, at the same time, you also want to keep in mind that Coup de Gras with NG is a real thing. So lists that play Coup de Gras, you want to use Yennefer very, very late on and like use her in tandem with Yurden. 
Yeah. You don't want to be afraid of boosting multiple units on a board because you got Yarden there to 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 reset the overstacked row. Right. And so that's you know, there's so many multiple things you can do with this list. That's what I like about it, is that you don't have just one set win con, right? Yeah. There's like uh, multiple ways to to uh, power through the first round and not get bled. Uh, there's multiple ways to play in a short round. Uh, and then of course you have several ways to play a swarm and a swarm. And it's a, it's a, it's a real, you know, I would say solid deck. It's not like the best deck in the game by far, but it's very solid. And if you're a good enough player and you understand the deck w well enough, you can go on like really good runs with it. I'm not, I did. Yeah, I'm finding a good pass too seems like if you don't want to use all your good yeah. stuff round one, you know, you, finding a good pass is a thing. Like that was a really good pass. Like it, yes, it, yeah. it, it, it screwed them pretty hard. Um, yeah, yeah. You just gotta, you got to understand that some of these decks cannot power past you if you're up by like 15 points. So you got to really think about it and go, okay, hey, wait a second, can uh, can these people make the points up without going down a couple of cards? And when people go down a couple of cards, even though they may not be down a card for the whole in round three, they can't afford to push you in round two. So they give you that long round in round three, which is, you know, you give swarm uh, the long round. It's just uh, Game ridiculous. Over. Yeah. Yeah. Real, real hard. Yeah. So, but yeah, yeah. There we go. All right. Yeah. That's the key. What? <laughs> All right. <laughs> I, like this is a matchup that I haven't played too too much. Like I think I faced Congregate and then some other like uh, kind of clown list. Of course, you would have kicked Nickers first. Um, from what we got here, we got two Arrakis nests. I'd probably kick uh, Nest, and then if we don't get Warrior. Um, Go ahead, and I would say go ahead and kick uh, one of the du uh, the wolf dudes. I, I don't even know how the yeah, spontaneous evolution. Yeah, go ahead and kick one of those, because they're good later as well. Yeah, and we get squirrel, and squirrel's always good, just in case there's something you need to, like, say uh, adios to. So what do we start with, uh, the larva uh, or the nest? Well, since we don't have anything really to consume the larva... Uh, we could always save it for the later rounds or save it as a, you know, mulligan choice. I would go ahead. I, I, I'm under the personal belief that sh it, your leader charges often go to waste in the third round. Um, so I usually will use one or two in like the first round. So I like to start with a leader charge and then use spontaneous evolution because it's a little bit slower of a swarm, and it also gives you uh, points in the first round, because it like boosts and then spawns. So, and you actually lucked out, like- um, They all went on one row. Gets, yeah, if this round gets contested, the gold card I like to use the most is uh, mm. Arrakis- uh, uh, Behemoth. Behemoth. Yeah, yeah. That... that's usually like my first round tempo card. If I oh have... shit! He went right in. Yeah, yeah. So see, he's gonna try to push. Like, uh, so have it is good that you have a mirror mancy and have access to Behemoth. Uh, Do we just so... selection one of these or? Uh, well, I'm divided. there's one or two things we can do. We can, um, go ahead and use a selection on one, uh, or we could just go ahead and use one of our, just drop, uh, uh, egg and just say, you know, like maybe the, you know, give the threat on the board that we are going to go swarm, but we're not going to really swarm this round. We just don't. Back row though, right? Yeah, 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 for sure, for sure, back row. Yeah, it, it, my it, the way I always play, I keep the even though it's not row locked for some reason, I always keep uh, the front row uh, for Behemoth, right? And then like I'll play Maxi back row. The only bad thing about this hand is that you didn't get Behemoth or Maxi. So like I like to play Maxi first round, but it's not the end of the world because if you have her second round, you could still know what what you got coming for the second round. You could kind of adjust things from there. So I would definitely, if if we are going with a, a Mancy, we'll go with the 
Yeah. At this point, uh, he's definitely going to play this round. Like, he's trying yeah. to push. So, uh, you do have two swarm capability cards, which, uh, you know, with uh, Unifer and with uh, uh, Totem. But, um, uh, so you could actually look into starting to, you know, widen yourself. Uh, but I would say at this point, um, go ahead and natural selection one of the two, uh, the twos. Um, and we'll see what he does after this. TA anything? Yeah, mm, yeah the bottom row. And then, uh, see what he does. Nickers comes yeah, out, too. And then Nickers comes out. How yeah, many like spells does he have, though? Let's see. Two. Okay. So this is the school of thought. He's down by 13, right? Mm -hmm. Um. You could go ahead and, like, just win the round outright and play Behemoth, which doesn't seem like too, too great right now, right? Um. Or you could, uh possibly just say take the risk and say squirrel's not worth it and play squirrel back, uh, back row but I'm not sure. as soon as you do that they'll be like he'll play Oniromancy or something and then, like, uh, right um, but in my opinion I would just go like go ahead and uh, drop squirrel it's not worth you using behemoth at this point um, and I don't think this list is going to run something that we're going to like. Well, these are, these are... I don't think they'll have a Nero. This is usually... Um, yeah, that's what I'm somewhere. saying. Usually I keep Squirrel for, like, lists that have, like, um, uh, a Neuromancy or what's uh, the card in Northern Realms that... Uh, that uh, oh, Amphibious that's... Assault. Yeah, Amphibious Assault. So, like, I, you know, Assault and, like, a Neuromancy are usually what I save... Uh, a squirrel for or like if you're facing a monster mirror and they got a, like a big boy that they're gonna eat with those roll you know you could use it for that but right uh, you know really besides those cards it, 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 like i said i don't i don't foresee anything so yeah you go ahead and pass uh um so he gets f five four points here yeah but he it, 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 I, he's gonna have to like use something I, I just not I'm not a hundred percent sold on using a, a Oniromancy uh, to, 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 like this round. Like uh, if anything, we could uh, if anything we could uh, uh, just use it to thin out our deck a little bit. Right. If we don't draw Maxi here, like if he passes, it would be like good, good to use it to pull Maxi out just to see what we have coming um so we don't have any consumed so just toss this yeah toss the end it would be it like because like i said if if he passes uh pretty quick here then we'll use a near Maxi for maxi um man where are our gold cards yeah we definitely go ahead and get kick one uh one uh chimera okay yeah we got maxi too so that's a that's a good thing it's also like, so he goes bank so he's all in yeah he's gonna he's good the, the good thing is is that you get a neuromancy so we want to use a neuromancy really late in this round right so click your deck real quick i think it's uh so yeah we could go a, a, a neuromancy for uh yurden later on because it's gonna probably win us the round if he goes long so then uh, we'll keep Behemoth for, like, either Behemoth or Triss will be good for a very, for a very short round. Do we like kill he, this? Mm, I guess we could Heat Wave it. Well, and you also keep in mind you have Yurden in your list, or, or in your deck. So in Yurden, like, reset. So if he's a boosty boy... You do we just, just go sorry. Nest, yeah. or do we go Maxi first? Uh, go ahead and go Nest, because it'll put us ahead. We're definitely going to have to use, like, probably Totem this round, but uh, we want to save Yennefer till the end. Oh, he has a Fallen Knight, too. Give what we demand, and we'll 
Not harm a hair on your wench's head. Yeah, see, the, it, it, like he's. It, it, this is like some kind of like uh, odd like point spam list. So I think Yurden's gonna win us this round and and end up getting us. Uh, so just Maxi card. Yeah, Maxi here for sure. Back row, and we'll see what uh, the deck looks like. So we get a lock. Uh, okay. Parasite. We get yeah, we get everything that we need except for uh. Uh, except for Behemoth. So we leave it alone. Yeah, leave it be. So we just we confirm, can. right? I've actually never yeah, even yeah, played yeah, this yeah. card. <laughs> confirm for sure. Yeah. 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 You don't pick a you don't pick a card at all. So the we're gonna we're gonna use a Neuromancy for Yearden, and then next round we'll use it for uh, Behemoth. Uh, He's playing this really Behemoth. slow, man. Like really slow. Yeah, I, I bet he's but he's going all in because I think he thinks that he's just got it, you know. Uh, okay, so here we are going to go. Uh, we're gonna leave our leader charges here. Mm. So this one we're gonna play uh, uh, Wispus, and we're gonna pull a Crimson Curse and put it on. Uh, Hold off on this for just a second. Let's see if he drops something to the to the front row. Yeah, because I was going to say the, the Veil we'll unit won't get here. it. Yeah. Um, let's see here. Let's go ahead and play another nest. And play it back row. So then we could like threaten the fact that listen we got the the spread already here so kind of like screwed. wow yeah 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 see he's got he's going for it so we're definitely going to drop the crimson curse next oh, like front row. Like animals. yeah that's pretty good yeah so uh tribute wispus tribute into um crimson curse front row Oh yeah, her back. She's ranged, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But I'm talking about what the. Oh yeah, on like, on the shock row, yeah. Yeah, you're gonna put it on uh, that row, yeah. Because you want him to keep letting that back row. One, boost two, up three, up. four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, we got room for Triss. <laughs> if we need to play. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, you get no, to consume, no. right? You get to consume, so that's nice. If I was you, like, because we're going to end up probably using her this round, I would just go ahead and drop her uh, next uh, next turn because it's less units you're boosting on his side of the board. Because, yeah, see, he's bringing Helvied out. So he's definitely uh, trying to get as many units on the board as he can. But that's fine because we're going to end up yard in the back row. So if it Triss boosts it, it's only really hitting four units. Right. So go ahead and yeah, drop her back row. You At this point, he's sorceress. like, okay, cool. Uh, it's no big deal. Blah, 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 blah. But really, he's kind of screwed. And if he keeps playing, next turn, we're going to play uh, uh, Chimera front yeah. row and eat one of the back row. Yeah, Congregation. He's, he's 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 in it in it to win it, and we're probably gonna have to use totem uh, this round as well. But let's go ahead and use totem now. Well, we have room, huh? Yeah. Just go ahead and totem now, and then we'll play Chimera next. And we're just gonna keep our leader charges because that's gonna be like it and Behemoth might be like uh, our win con for the short round. Right. Triss might be alright too. Triss, but Triss is like, uh, you know, you're, if we get both of them, that's great, right? But Triss is kind of like, you know, still, you know, you're kind of, we'll probably end up get a congregation and like two other of his like bullshit cards and we won't get the one that we want, you know? So he went, he's got eight coin. Oh, Tin Boy. Wow, he should have used that off the bat, huh? Yeah. I'm not, it's good for him now, but it's he's like, uh, winning. I don't. So yeah, Chimera back row. Hold on. Uh, don't play Chimera quite yet. Uh, go ahead and put one leader charge on the back row. 
and then play Chimera. Front row. Do we have enough room? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, well, you're about to consume a unit in the back, so you'll have enough room to play Yurgen anyway. Because he's not playing spying units or anything, so you don't have to worry about. Yeah. And if he passes here, that's fine, because, uh... He did. Okay, he does. So, Yurgen should be enough. That's two, four... Um, well, this is only healthy. A... That's 14, so that's 2, 4, that's 18, uh, 18, 7. Yeah, like that's 25 already without me adding in healthy. So we're going to go Yurden. Um, and then we're going to reset his back row. Let's get this over with. Easy. Yep. And then we go into the short round with three leader charges. Are How, where does he get gas like, from now? Like, I don't know, but that's the thing is that we're most likely going to draw both Triss and uh, with Oniromancy uh, Behemoth. And so, like, there's that. We could probably go ahead and kick Parasite. What about uh, the lock? Uh, it, it's a. It, do you think the lock is going to be better? Or do you think Parasite's going to be better? He played all the. I'm just trying to think of like if we need removal. The veil anything. it might come up dead because of the veiled units. He played okay, Jock so, yeah, too. Go, uh, it, we'll go ahead and and kick Norgary because you want to get Triss, and I think Triss if you kick again we get Triss. Yep. Is that right? Yeah. Okay, so we got what we need. What we're gonna do is probably play Triss here, and uh, go ahead and play your three leader charges front row. Just in case we get like screwed and we need like more units than what we have. Right. You never know. Go ahead and play Triss. And we're gonna hope for evolution here. That we don't want to play the Behemoth first? No, 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 no. No. no, no. no. We want to be greedy. Here. Yes, we got evolution. <laughs> evolution on the front row. And nice. what we do. Now One, we two, have, three, four, yeah, five, we're, we have one too many, but because we were kind of hoping that we would get the other one, the extra one that the leader puts out, that it would go to, but if he does happen to like play something to damage See, there it is. We just yeah. nuke that. Well, we could, we could just heat wave that one. Uh, yeah, we could, and we have a turn to actually play, uh, uh that parasite. So let's go ahead and play behemoth now, um, onto, uh, the fr first row. I think we even win if it's if his last card is no it can't well we don't know if it was I guess it could still be so he gets one alright now we can use uh, parasite onto that five go ahead and just up here and then whatever's the best card we just yeet wave yeah. Like, it could be an easy win. Like, us in the short round. <laughs> we just get rid of the spender, right? Yeah. yeah. We just get rid of him. Alright, so he needs 21. Yeah. Does Yurden do it? I don't think no. so. I think... It, yeah. Oh, oh, see, that card's trash in this, this matchup. Yeah. Trash. Yeah, he should have saved Jock for the last say, and he probably would have been good to go. To be honest with you, I think he would have been in a lot better shape if he had just played one long round. And where was his uh, card for the swarm? The, You know what I'm no, talking no. about for all the... Yeah, where you hit for three left. and boost everything? I always forget weird the name left, of it. But, but like, it, that's the thing. Is you're pl even facing a swarm deck with Yurden in there, you're like, okay, well, they're, we're going to give some of their uh, cards points with the uh, with Yennefer, but, you know, if he stacks one row, that row is going to be our target, so we're basically not giving the points up. Right. This list, I think this list just begs for Yurden. I would also, and I've been thinking about toying around with this list i'm gonna wait until next season and see what the changes are but i've been toying around with playing like um uh predatory dive and possibly uh, uh lacerate 
yeah. in this list um just because sometimes when you face like the mirror the mirror can be really tricky and um at the same time uh there's a lot of like uh, like squoya lists that go wide and right. <laughs> uh Yurden, uh lacerate uh predatory dive works really well as a first card a, a lot of times because there's so many times i notice people that they just play a card and then they use whatever their crystal skull advantage from, yeah, crystal skull or or something right off. And yeah, especially then, something like, uh, you know, the Brookvar Hunters or the Griffin yeah. Witchers where they could just ping one by one all your stuff and you're screwed. And so. see, with the way that the list is right now, right, you got one Yeet Wave, you got the Yeet Wave that can punish them that way if you have it in round one and they use Crystal Skull right off. But uh, it feels bad kind of when you use it on a bronze card that's like a nine. Right. When you if you had a cheaper option like a predatory dive in it that you could play that and you drew that it would you would still have access to Yeet Wave for something important later. For um, sure, Yeet Wave though is just a card that really like helps you not get punished, in my opinion. Yeah. Like I use it a a whole bunch in versus Matic lists. Like the uh, there's the that NG Matic list that like you know keeps like copy and Matic and where there's like three or four Maddocks on the board. And uh, like as soon as I notice that it's that list, like I played that, uh, it like NG, I don't use Heat Wave like right off. Like right. I, I wait to see what the list is. Yeah. Um, sometimes too, they'll play around Yurden, uh, the NG with uh, uh, the, the play like the Witchers at, at, at out to like you know you it gets more cards than what the opposite row is and all that like it's a boosty uh, ng list and they'll play like around in different rows with that to play around here yeah. and so sometimes you need to like uh you know hold on to yeet wave you know uh for you know to punish the other row along with your Right. To get out of that, they can outpoint you sometimes with that list. So, yeah. uh, and they they play pretty smart. I think what is that, uh, Colgrim? Yeah. Oh yeah, the Cloggers. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. And that they, they we'll, we'll let we'll right. let Wasubi talk about Cloggers, and and I'll beep up the whole video. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Cloggers is a it's a. Uh, interesting deck to play against it's, yeah uh, i'm not a fan whatsoever i'm, I'm, I'm ashamed it's in Nilfgaard because i love Nilfgaard, but yeah it's uh it, it, but you know like there's every once in a while there's that really degenerate Nilfgaard list you know like uh uh like the red rain list from like about six or seven seasons ago where like you like just kept just like looking at cards and boost and boost and boost and you just boost everything up right you know it's like, uh, you know, and then people start, like, learning to play around it. They start playing year, and they start playing, like, crazy, like, tall punish. Uh, and that's when, like, the swarm decks become, like, uh, you know, really good. Yeah, because they don't have them big targets. Um, and, and you know, and, and I'm telling you, like, like through my ranked experience um, with, uh, with, uh, rack of swarm and that's the one thing i could tell for like say to the people that are out there watching with um that are playing the ranked ladder right now i really do think a swarm is a good deck for ranked i don't know if it's like even mid-tier for the pro ladder but if you know how to play it well enough you can pilot it you know to 25 26 i'm pretty sure like, oh yeah i think like uh, like right now i haven't played much of pro ladder since i got to it um and i'm like at 2460 or 2470 so i'm pushing 25 with it moderately easy mm. and i think i've lost like three matches four i think one of them was like a um was a real issue with uh uh disconnects on my phone I, for yeah. some reason like it like freezes up when i play on my phone every now and then so uh yeah so it's just been you know it's been kind of uh, you know hit or miss with that, but I'm not as far as like you know overall. I think the decks uh, solid. Good. It, it it's just yeah. one of those decks where it has like a set mission. You know what I mean? It's uh you know you want to get you go wide. You know get your cards out and you know and it has options too with the shuffle and uh, you know a couple 
really good burst plays with like you know just Man, using your leader charges and Yennefer. That's like what twenty three points if in round three. Off the bat, you're like, okay, go ahead. <laughs> Uh, Maxi is is like a really great card. I would say Maxi and Behemoth are the two like kind of all stars of the of the deck uh, because Behemoth, like you saw, you can either use it in the first round to tempo yourself because you don't want to be bled ultimately. Yeah. So you know if you see that you're going to be bled, then you need to like kind of know what how you're going to get out of it. Right. And, you know, in a long round, you're going to play your swarm because that's how you're going to get out of it. So then you got to start thinking about, well, what am I going to do for the short round? Right. And the short round, usually the only way to get yourself out is a quick swarm and, and boost, like something like um, uh, Triss and like your leader charges and like, uh, you know, an evolution or something. Right. Uh, or a nest. Um, or And then hope that from Triss that you hit totem because again like i do play this list a little differently than others i only play one totem right. um but you know you if you see that you're getting in a bunch of one round uh situations or situations where you're not being able to boost your swarm enough uh it's like, like i said go, it, you can pull knickers out um you can put a totem in and you can bring bruiser in for like one of your eggs yeah yeah that's the snapshot list uh, this one's a little bit different i'll put it in the comments yeah, yeah. Uh, um but mr shadow brother we uh we haven't had you on in a minute man it was good hanging with you man uh lots of good stuff coming uh tlg tv we got the invitational yeah. next weekend yeah. yeah tlg tv starts on tuesday with uh the premiere of sway null uh podcast uh, which is Jagras and Spiro's uh, podcast that they decide, uh, we put together with them. Uh, Spiro's been after us to have a podcast again for six months, eight months now. Me and him have been talking about this because I've been wanting it. And uh, Max is just an all-star. He does so much for our team. He's now a partner. We love him to, like, to bits. The guy like really, really works his tail off uh for the, for the team and has worked his tail off to put out uh, TLG TV um, and you know with uh, the podcast coming up like I, I, I think that that's going to be really really cool you know the fact that we're going to be doing coaching sessions every week on our stream so like a community member keep an eye out come to our discord we'll be doing uh, giveaways for uh, one hour coaching sessions that will be live uh, first ones with Podger, right? Yeah, the first ones with Pieball, and the, the the giveaway ends at midnight on uh, Monday, going to Tuesday. So y'all uh, y'all have plenty of time to get in there and and uh, follow the directions and enter to get an hour plus, maybe a little bit more with Pia, the defending world champion. And then uh, yeah, a bunch of other really great stuff. And then of course next weekend. Invitational 2, open qualifier. This is the community qualifier. So uh, there is still time to get uh, into our Discord and find out the challenge link uh, uh, for the tournament and to sign up. Deck lists will be due, I think, on Wednesday going into Thursday. Or maybe it's Thursday going into Friday. I think it's Thursday yeah. at midnight. Yeah. So, you know, like, you know, but you got time to get in there. All you community members out there, come get a chance to play against the best in Gwent because we're, our lineup is going to be just as sick as last year's uh, for the Invitational. We're going to be casting a whole bunch again this year for the Invitational, which is in July. So this is the time to get in and to earn your way in. If not, just get some tournament experience and right. have a good time. So, yeah, I always I always put the Discord link in the in the description. So, uh, yeah, you know, make sure you hop in there. Just just uh, for overall, just you know, if you have questions and stuff, you know, yes. people answer. So it's always a, it's always cool in there. And I mean, I and even if even if the question's ridiculous, was Subby still talks to you? Yeah, <laughs> it might be make fun of you right. to get W U or to uh, Pogies, you yeah. know, something, uh, you know. Just remember, he is here for your uh, your like education and your love. 
it, it, that's what Wasubi's here for. He, mm -hmm. It's here to love all of you in the community. He's, can uh, can confirm. Big, big, <laughs> big part. Yeah. <laughs> Um, but yeah, keep an eye out for all that good stuff, guys. Um, once again, Shadow Brother, thank you for recording, man. I appreciate it, man. We tried to get this going uh, last week, but we had some uh, scheduling oh, conflicts on both our parts. So, <laughs> yeah, man. As always, I appreciate you for having me on. Yeah, and thank you guys so much for everything. Uh, we're up to episode. I think this is eighty-eight. So we're almost at one hundred. We're gonna do something special still trying to figure out what that is but uh we'll find something fun to do so thank yeah. you guys so much for watching and we'll see you guys next monday for ladder leverage